don't be regarded ah, no, no. around. Ah, 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 we don't allow anybody. This was the mood at Parliament as over 70 litigants from Bunyoro stormed the House to hand in their petition to the Speaker, protesting the unclear circumstances under which over 2.5 trillion Ugandan shillings intended for the Kingdom from UK ended up being baptized as National Budget Support Fund. The money, according to a financial page extract from the Ministry of Finance records, came in three different phases from UK and that is the President who advised the UK government to baptize it as a budget support to quicken its attainment. But since then, the kingdom has never been given anything of it. That we Banyoro have been sacrificed on the altar of discrimination and marginalization, and yet we have been a support base for His Excellency the World Kakutam 7. These aggrieved Banyoro, including students from the region, old men and women, say they have on several cases wanted to meet the president over the matter, but have been turned away and that now they've run out of patience. According to their petition, it was unfair for government to receive this money as a national grant, yet the UK government had given it to the country as an out-of-court payment to block the Banyoro from using it. To the area minister, Ernest Kiza, this is a baseless and misleading concept since the litigants never went to court and thus cannot claim payment for the money. Initially, the Banyoro had attempted to sue the UK government for having brokered the giveaway of two of its counties of Buyaga and Bugangaisi to Uganda in pre-colonial era, plus the over 2.5 million people who died in those clashes then, but the Queen moved hastily to sort the matter out of court. The petition says the two parties agreed that UK pays 700 million pounds, totaling up to 2.5 trillion shillings, which was paid, though the kingdom has never received a single penny of it. Nikita Moses, the best television.